right now. All right. Gotcha. How was work, brother? Yeah, man. Um, I haven't had a, uh, a chance to get too many reports, uh, although I've seen some more footage. There are definitely more people on the ground. Um, I'm just hoping once uh, once this gets a little busier in the next few hours, uh, somebody chimes in. Uh, feel free to uh, reshare this data, and uh, you know let let everybody know this thing is now fully active again for the uh, evening, uh, and it is recording. Uh, any of you guys get a chance to listen to uh, the replay of the call on the playback number or the uh, the broadcaster? We were listening. No, I haven't. Playback number. Sure, uh, you can play back yesterday's call. It's uh, Five five nine seven two six one three nine nine. I think it went out uh, the one three zero zero for the playback. Uh, no, the one three zero zero is the number we're on right now. The one three nine nine is actually the playback. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you guys jump on my Facebook page, uh, it's in MP3 form. Um. Up there, at, right there at my Facebook page. Uh, you can find me if you just type in the words "Free the People," all one word. Type in "Free the People," I should pop up, and uh, you can just add me or jump on my page. I got it open public. It was uh, one of the last two posts I put up today. You can literally play it just as an MP3, and you don't have to listen to it on your phone. You could hear it on your uh, computer or phone, actually, if uh, you've got a player on your phone. Just throwing that out there, man. It was a pretty awesome call. It went over five hours, and uh, we peaked out at about 130 people <coughs> across the nation. Um, there was definitely some uh, suspicious uh, flies on the wall in the room. Um, as I saw them, I, would, I deleted a couple um, and removed them and banned them from the room. It was kind of cool. Uh, uh, one of the members that I could tell was up uh, was uh, one of the uh, members from Anonymous who chimed in there for a minute, and uh, I ended up calling back that number. I can't really get into the conversation, but uh, definitely Anonymous is watching what's going on too. I don't know if you guys are kind of fans. I kind of am and kind of not. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm about some of the cause, but it was kind of cool to see them chime in as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was on YouTube today, and I see a, a, a video on YouTube of Anonymous speaking their mind on the uh, what's going on at the uh, Bundy Ranch. Yeah. I, we are fans of the true Anonymous. You know, the, muddy, the water's been muddied out there, but... Yeah, true, ain't yeah. I? There's a lot of, of, a lot of coaches out there. You know, in, in my experience over the last, you know, seven years or so since I've really been involved with the movement, I, I you know, I can't say I, I, I haven't betrayed any groups, but I, I've definitely, you know, joined a lot of groups, you know, saw who's moving and shaking, and uh, it's unfortunate, man. There's all kinds of infiltration at every level of just about every group that's trying to do something okay or, you know, or right or, you know, progressively trying to pull us out of the right America's in right now. Um, you know, there's definitely evil doers out there, man, working uh, working for the wrong people, and uh, not much we can really do about it other than keep on keeping on. You know, um, plenty, plenty of people in there trying to stir up the pot. You know, you've got uh, you know again infiltrators and people trying to start violence, and I think especially with the situation right now, those are the cats that we're going to have to kind of watch out for. The guys that want to be blood martyrs, you know, that want to go down in history and uh, you know start the revolution and you know, I kind of get it, you know, I, I'm feeling it, you know, it, something's got to happen, but I, I can't help but to believe that, you know, we're uh, we're modern-day human beings, you know, and there, there's no reason we can't use the technology and the assets and, and the capabilities, like, even like we are right now, to do something to work together as a whole and just do the right thing without any bloodshed. Although, yeah, I, I, I agree, some people up top need a serious ass-beating um, okay. and, and to be put behind bars as far as I'm concerned, but I don't really think that this would should be the avenue. You know, we've got, uh, you know, I'm a very pro Second Amendment person, as uh, some of you guys already know. You know, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't. You know, I'm, I'm locally related to, uh, you know, my Second Amendment group, so to speak, and, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're trying to represent here is other groups to be able to come together and uh, at least get on the same page. I don't know if we're going to find any finality or answers. We're just going to kind of take it as it comes, but I'm just uh, trying to get people to use this, uh, you know, conference call capability as a resource so that people that are boots on the ground, people that want to know what's going on, can all kind of get together in one place and, uh, you know, get it fresh from uh, from some, some leaders and, uh, you know, some patriots that, that are not going to lie to you as opposed to what the media is telling everybody right now or lack of what they're telling people right now. Um, 
I mean, yeah, we're all, we're all still focusing on the uh, the range thing, the whole cattle thing, yeah. when, it's a, when it's obviously more than that. Right. This is a by far a land grab. This is coming from up top in the military. They've sent these guys, even though they're, they're in uniform, uh, you know, some of them have the capability to, uh, how can I say this right, to reach out to some of the other people that are there. And they've explained that, you know, they've just been hired. They're, they're just contractors, really, working for this company, doing what they're told, following illegal orders. And uh, I, I think we need to reach out directly um, to those people specifically. Uh, a little bit of intel that came down the line yesterday was that, you know, these, uh, these land guys, you know, since they are contractors and they're not from the area, are staying at a lot of local hotels in their vicinity. And uh, I, I would hope that some people that are headed down that way end up going to uh, one of these hotels and trying to talk to some of the guys and, and see where they're at, see if they can stand out. I mean, I know a lot of contractors, man. Right? I can't say uh, I know any of the guys that are here in the field right now, but you know, they're, most of them are just American bros like us, you know, that either they're in or out of the military at whatever point, for their, and they're doing this now because of their skill. They've been chosen to do something, but, you know, they only get one perception. They think they're doing the right thing because uh, the rancher broke the law, blah, 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 blah. But it's the guys above them that they need to question. It's the guys above them giving all these illegal orders that need to get down to the bottom of it and admit that, you know what, man, this is an illegal gang, gun, uh, sorry, land grab. They're, they're doing this to get the, the ores, the minerals, and the oil on this land. It, this is not the only place this has happened. It's happening all over the surrounding states and mainly in, in Nevada right now, but I mean, there is beyond a shadow of a doubt that this has nothing to do with tortoises and freaking cows that, the, that is coming from up top, and th this is all about acquiring more land. Um, it, you know, it's very close resembling e eminent domain, I, and I think this is why it's a, such a huge landslide, uh, I'm sorry, landmark type case due to the fact that this can happen anywhere, anytime now because they've got the enforcers. You know, if DHS gets involved and the numbers increase on their end and they want to start doing this, you know, this is a trial. Much like Boston was a trial for martial law, this is a trial for eminent domain. Once they start perfecting their technique, which is exactly what they're doing right now, they can do this anywhere they want to. So if, if you, there's something on you know, your land or a friend's land or whatever the case is, they can do this. And, and we need to be able to, to, to get sheriffs involved and say, no, no, not on my watch, not in my territory. You know, it's happened before. Sheriff Richard Max, I think, on the scene now. And, uh, you know, he did the same exact thing in New Mexico when uh, the, the uh, feds came into his county and were trying to take guns from some of his residents. The man went and deputized some of his boys, met him at the border, and said, F no, you're not getting past me. I'm the constitutional authority. So I just took him to, ended up going to Supreme Court on this, and the Supreme Court ruled in the sheriff's favor because you are the constitutional authority here. So, me personally, I think the main focus needs to be we need to get all these boys as soon as possible in touch with the sheriffs. And if the sheriff's going to be, excuse my French, a big pussy about it, hey, you know what? We're putting a lien on your bond for not doing your job. The next guy needs to become sheriff right now. And we need to get deputized, and we need to meet these cats at the border and use the local resources and whatever else we brought with us and say, no, you're, you're not doing this. Be gone, you know. Be gone with you in the, in the name of Jesus Christ if we have to, but they need to be gone. All right. American Spartans here in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, uh, we agree with you on the nonviolent thing, but the one thing we do know at the same time is they're not just going to hand this back over to us. They're not going to return to a constitutional form of government without something happening. Now, that's not what we're looking for. It's not what anybody hopes for. But at the same time, we also have uh, people on the ground there in Nevada, as we were speaking earlier with these gentlemen from Mississippi. Um, we needed direct intel, like you said. I mean, a bunch of dis disinformation on the, uh, on, you know, on the news media and at dumb boxes and everybody's home. Um, so if we ever hear anything pertinent, I mean, we'll definitely share that. But uh, at this point, about the best we can hope for, I think, is that they back down and understand that there are more and more Americans every day just ticked off, and they're about fed up with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree, brother. It's, uh, it's a sad, sad situation right now, and, uh, you know, I, I can't blame any American for, you know, wanting to get involved, wanting to get down there and beat some ass. I mean, I'm... 
trust me, you know, 51% of me is all about it, but luckily the angel on my shoulder realizes what a catastrophe that could quickly turn into. And, uh, you know, with American Spring around the corner, this is kind of a trial run, and I, I just can't help but to feel that we're kind of being set up here, man. Um, you know, regardless of what the rancher needs and wants, you know, this is a test, and we need to pass this test. And if we fail at this test, you know, we, we all know this is going to be the year of some change, man, but uh, you know, we need to act like grown, smart adults with a little wisdom around us and, you know, use our capabilities, technology, and wisdom and, uh, you know, prevent a catastrophic outcome. Um, you know, and, and he is a lawful and legal wireless caller, 4299, you're getting muted. That's your echo. All right, sorry about that. Um. Johnny Hendricks, for some reason I got you muted earlier, dude. I'm going to unmute you right now. Hey, John, you there? Yeah, this is us. I'm sorry, man. I don't know. I think there was some background noise a minute ago, and I temporarily muted you. I apologize for uh, doing it. No, but, uh, but, yeah, just in case you wanted to chime in, man. Um, you know, feel free to start blasting this out. This thing's live and being recorded. So if we can get those boots on the ground or a, <clears throat> a couple people from last night to jump back on, we had – like I said, up to 120 some odd, uh, you know, leaders from a lot of different awesome patriotic groups all throughout the nation that chimed in yesterday. We had the president that's uh, on the program for uh, the uh, overpasses across America to impeach Obama. Um, we had the National Three Percenters. We had the uh, the Aviation League that is uh, offering, um, you know, uh, mobile transport via the sky, via their airplanes. Uh, they're willing to drop off packages there uh, at the ranch if need be. You know, um, there was all kinds of people that chimed in yesterday, and it was just really, really great to see uh, all these leaders, you know, coming through to help communicate. So, you know, feel free to copy the data here. Uh, yeah. Get that off to a lot of people. John, that's you again. I'm going to have to remute yeah. you for a second, bro. Are you on speakerphone, John? Yes, we're on speakerphone. Uh, if you want, if, if, I don't know if you can hear that feedback coming in, but once in a while there's a huge echo, and uh, my monitor's uh, the control panel is showing me that was coming from you, bro. So, right. well, just saying, there's not a lot of people on the call right now, so it's cool. We'll let it slide, but if it happens again, I'll have to temporarily mute you, bro. I'll go ahead and mute myself. I have nothing going on in the house. We're just sitting here on the desk, and we don't have anything running, any TV or anything on. So, I don't know what. Not cool. Well, go, go ahead. And yeah, go ahead and just stay on. It's cool. Chime in, you know, work with oh, us. There's only, yeah. what, six people on this call right now anyway, so right. um, in a couple her. hours. Yeah. I've seen earlier on the group, uh, somebody requested, um, I think they said back holes. And heavy equipment, they re requested APCs, and now uh, they just now they, they just said all able bodies must now report the main ranch off road vehicles may be required to gain access to food and medical supplies. Well, we'll see how that pans out, man. And um, I know there's been a full request to get other militias over there. I, I'm just curious to see boots on the ground now because Richard Mack and CISPA should be there. There should be at least, by my count, at least another 200 people that were there yesterday um, based on just this call alone and the intel that we are getting. So I've got a couple of guys that have not even chimed in yet that said they should be there by, by now that were uh, planning on doing like a live broadcast with their uh, GoPro Hero cams. Um, they were going to be uploading footage. So I'm just trying to catch... Uh, catch what I can. Again, if you guys, you know, get any of that or, you know, other people that want to know what's going on or you see misinformation going out there, by all means, invite them to this call right now so we can try to get some more people on the page I'll, by the end of it. I've, I've been on pretty much all day, you know. Um, I really haven't heard anything new, but um, besides what's, what's been said on the group, that's pretty much all that I've seen. Um, I got a report from my commander about an hour ago that cell phone, in for, uh, cell phone towers were shut down in the vicinity so people cannot broadcast out. 
Uh, that I'm not I'm not too sure about because um, like just shortly after I saw that report, like I saw that earlier, and uh, just shortly after that, uh, there was uh, there's some live feeds being streamed out from Ustream and everything like that. And if uh, you know if uh, if those towers were actually down, then that data service wouldn't be functional, and those Ustreams wouldn't have been uh, been able to be uploaded. So I don't I don't know the uh, the integrity of that kind of information there. All right, ten four. When he got it, it was probably about being temporary, and I never got updated since then. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. So uh, I do know I do know that they uh, took the uh, the checkpoints down from exit one twelve. That was actually confirmed. They had that uh, checkpointed off and blocked off and everything there for a while, and they took that down probably about an hour and a half ago. Interesting. Sorry, I got people popping up all over the place asking me questions now. <laughs> um, <laughs> anybody else got anything to chime in? Not that I know of. I'll keep an eye on Facebook. Yeah, I just got more and more notations popping up here, Windows over here in uh, Facebook. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, again, feel free to invite more people, man. Um, the more the merrier at this point. You guys use the same exact numbers, obviously, that you used yesterday to get in today, right? I wasn't able to make it in yesterday. All right, but yeah, you're using the same data, obviously, to get in? Another man. That looks like the, uh, the story is now being covered by a uh, national CBS channel now. And hey, Ron, if you see a Curtis, a Curtis Lee Dolan, that's me. Uh, you can send me a friend request. Sorry, I'm in invite mode right now. It's also interesting to hear that similar situations are actually simultaneously occurring in other parts of the state, and I believe also the Utah border, you know, that they're doing land grabs on other ranchers. Obviously, it's most likely for the same purpose. It's just going to be interesting to see how all this pans out, you know. Media is not going to say anything about it, but if we keep speaking up, you know, hopefully as this situation dissolves, hopefully some of those guys might be able to cruise on over to another site where the same issue is happening and curb that as well. Yeah. <clears throat> It'd be pretty badass to see 2,000 patriots armed across the country traveling to different hot spots, quelling the situation and let them know the people and the sheriffs aren't taking this shit anymore. I think that'd be a good way to fix this country. How about you guys? It'd be a good start at least. To start arresting these guys? I mean, I'm, I'm surprised nobody has yet considered using the power of a citizen's arrest and just 
grabbing one of these dumb shits that are just taking illegal orders and just arresting them and showing them how that shit feels. They don't have to be violent about it. Just say it out loud. Citizens arrest. You're doing something illegal. We've got it on tape. You're under arrest. Hand them over to the sheriff. Yep. There's a... uh, there's a new post by uh, Jerry Bruckhardt of uh, Operation Mutual Aid. He's over there on the ground. He says, uh, attention to all watching the Bungie Ranch situation. There's a very large volume of misinformation being distributed by the enemy for the purpose of discrediting all the state militias on arrival. We ask you not to share anything until it is confirmed with the militia command on the ground at the Bungie, Bungie Ranch. Spreading this misinformation plays right into the hands of the enemies and will destroy this effort if not controlled. Thank you for your consideration and support. Interesting. All right, hey, uh, I'm going to leave this call on, obviously, because there's people here. Um, I have to take a quick 10-minute, 20-minute drive. I have to drop somebody off at work, and I'll be right, I'll be right back. So you guys just hang on board. Um, you know, let people know to press star six if they get too rowdy or, you know, have to mute themselves out or something. But uh, give me about 15, 20 minutes. I should be right back, all right, guys? All right, that. Thanks. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool when I saw Anonymous speak up. Hey, what? That was pretty cool when uh, Anonymous spoke up. Yeah, it was. Anonymous, though, man, they on play. Yeah, back in uh, back from about 2001 to about 2004, late 2004, 2005, I was uh, pretty heavy in the mix with those guys. They're a lot of fun whenever you get to know them and get into the right groups or the little clicks that they have, anyhow. But uh, there's mean, a lot of there's a lot of douches out there that claim to be part of that group and try to, you know, nudge their way into positions of influence and everything. So, and once that started to widespread, and I was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away from y'all for a little bit. Yeah, but you know, you know the way I see, you know, what I'm saying, you know, if you want to be anonymous. Then they got videos on YouTube that can tell you how to be anonymous, you know. Yeah. You, you don't yeah, have to be a, you know, you know, you don't have to be a hacker of a hacker just be anonymous. You can just you can just have a Facebook page and speak your mind. Right. I see anonymous. Honestly, I think anonymous are pretty much patriots, because you know, because you know, the people that that's real anonymous, they they see the wrong in the government, and and they tell the government, hey, what you doing here is wrong, and if you don't fix it, then we gonna fix it. Right. Well, hey, you want to learn something uh, pretty interesting that not not a lot of people know about anonymous? Or most of the uh, most of the core group, the founding members, and most of the core group are all ex-military and ex-FBI. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, we got. Uh, I know there's a couple of uh, former intel 
officers that are playing a pretty big role in that group there. Have you seen the uh, documentary about Anonymous? Uh, no, I've heard about it. I hadn't gone around to watching it, so kind of wondering how, uh, how accurate that is. <laughs> yeah. I watched a little bit of it. You know, at, at the beginning of it, it shows a, a teen girl, you know what I'm saying? She must have been anonymous or something, and the FBI came to her house and, and arrested her. Oh, yeah. I remember, uh, what was it, the, uh, that, she was either like 15 or 17 or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that part. I think that was, uh, that, that little section there was part of that, um, uh, trailer or whatever you call them for UEs. Yeah, that's one, I that's actually, one of the ones that I'm going to have to get around to watching. Yeah, I actually tried to find some, some people that was anonymous. I was going to talk to them. Well... All you gotta do, uh, if you if you really want to get a hold of them, like the uh, the easiest way to do it is uh, to download like a like X chat or something like that, something with a IRC chat capabilities, and uh, go to Anon Ops and find their IRC channel and plug that in, dial you know dial into it, and boom, there you go. Figure out which channel you want to go to, and I just got fun. a phone. I, I'm using. Well, uh, if it's a smartphone, there there are IRC chat applications for smartphones. Like I know Android has it. That's, uh, that's what I use. I got it's a pen. It's a uh, uh, it's a pen tat, but it looks like a Bradbury. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, do you know what uh, operating system it functions on? Is it like a is it like a BlackBerry system or is it? Uh, Android, uh, Apple. I, I, I had no idea. It might be Bradbury. I check that out because there's a there's a lot of useful apps coming out nowadays that people are getting more comfortable with uh, programming and coding and everything like that. And a lot of that shit's free too. Yeah. And if it's not, it's like one ninety nine or ninety nine cents or two ninety nine or something like that. Not too bad. Uh, me, you know, I really don't say my my identity on here because you know because of all and stuff. But you know what I'm saying? I might not be the 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 righteous one, but yeah. but but I watch enough anonymous videos to know to know from right from wrong. Right. Yeah, I, I I pretty well agree with the, with most of what Anonymous uh, gets at. The only thing that really kind of bothers me about them is they're fixated on this concept of democracy, mm. and they they have a really bad habit of calling the republic a democracy. And that kind of irks me. I don't. I don't take no shits though. No, they don't. If they want to say something, then then they are going to say it. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was funny whenever they busted out uh, fucking uh, Pete Santilli. (laughs) Yeah. Man, they they got like freaking folders of docs on that guy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I had him pretty much wet in his pants and everything, uh, mm-hmm. contacting uh, the, the field office or whatever, or having an agent contact the field office for him or whatnot. <laughs> that's probably that's probably who it was. Yes, last night because last night you know there was there was some weird noise. Uh, it sounded like a weird voice. I said, "What the fuck?" Huh. Uh, man, freak my ass out, man. I didn't know what that was. I was sitting here being quiet, like, oh shit. <laughs> now their voices, and I said, that's probably they're probably just using a modulator or something like that. 
Yeah. I'm gonna get me one of them damn things. What's that? Hell yeah. That's some badass stuff they got. They use. Yeah. How they how they change their voice or or cover their voice up. Yeah, it only helps so so much though. Because what they can do, they can uh, like if you're uh, if you're using a modulator and your voice is recorded, and they have a you know a really good quality uh, recording of it, like not like like, like an MP3 or an MP4 recording, uh, more like a FLAC or something like that. Then all they got to do is just uh, dick around with the timbre and pitch and everything like that, and they'll be able to pretty well fine tune the voice back to the original state. Yeah, that's why, you know, if there's anything that needs to be said that uh, that you don't want recorded, then you shouldn't do it over electronics. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, man. I just saw my mind. I just saw it mine this last night. Yeah. Um, with the North Mississippi Glacier. So you're in uh, Louisville, aren't you? Sorry? Or thereabouts? Hmm? Is it John? No, American Spartans are on here. Yeah, John and there's a few of us here in the room. We are from Louisville. Louisville area in southern Indiana. Who are you, brother? I'm right across the river from you. <laughs> Who is this? Dom, by the way. Oh, Dom, what's going on? I thought I recognized your voice, buddy. Oh, nothing much, man. Good to hear from yeah, you, man. Uh, yeah, good to be here, man. We have more people on here in an hour or so. Oh, yeah. yeah what do you think uh, What do you think about that YMO wow. stuff that's uh, going on there? What's that? You know that, uh, that one gang they're all talking about? That big mob that fucking pretty much wrecked downtown. <laughs> yeah, the 200 teenagers. Yeah, we yeah. actually uh, we actually go down, pull security on any big events that come up. They had a few rallies afterwards, so we're keeping a close eye on that. Uh, a lot of our families and everything are already down on that waterfront part. Uh, yep. You know, a whole lot. We spend quite a bit of time down there, whether it be free concerts or just hang out with the kids and everything. And what what a probably happen next man they'll probably pull this crap again and they'll catch somebody with a ccdw and it'll be all over the place and they'll be the victims yeah. you know yeah that's how it plays yeah. out yeah no, yeah that's usually how it plays out with the media anyway but it's better to be judged by 12 than carried by six i'll tell you that here you are yeah hey if uh y'all got my number if y'all need any uh assistance or anything like that i'd be happy to oblige I appreciate that. There was one uh, gas station owner down there. I won't give a location. Uh, I'm getting in touch with her because as it hit national news and they were talking about being a first-time thing, she called and said no. She said the police call her on a regular basis telling her to lock the doors. They think they're coming back and everything. And uh, sure. there's certain parts of our life, me and my wife are, uh, let's say, friends with some of the uh, police department here. And mm-hmm. uh, they verified that fact, and they also verified that the mayor talking about upping the police force and everything is all BS. They're just uh, giving lip service to the media to help it calm down. So uh, we're in contact with them a lot of times if we do any protests or anything, trying to check out legalities, you know, you know, get their view on what they would be looking for that would cause problem to keep anything peaceful that we do. And mm-hmm. uh, I mean, they they know what I do. I don't talk to them about anybody outside of myself, but they know what I'm about and what I'm for, and a lot of them really are on the same page here. But, you know, you always have that one bad apple in every group that, you know, makes everybody look bad. But uh, right. anytime we run anything, though, uh, we'll definitely get with you. But that lady at the gas station, if she can pinpoint a night for me or a couple of specific nights that are pretty consistent, uh, we're going to sit about four or five people down there probably just to uh, – Maintain a hold security for her, just help her out, keep her store from getting rushed and robbed and looted and whatever else. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind providing Overwatch. 
All right. Yeah, we'll do that information, all that detail face-to-face, brother, all right? All right. Sounds good to me. If you all need anything on your end, obviously you can contact us, brother. We'll get together here real soon. Cool, cool. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you right now that uh, where I'm at, not very much happens so as far as, uh, you know, disturbances and everything like that. kind of live out in the country, so. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll share our problems any day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what brother before, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I seen you all out there at that meeting, man. It's good to meet you all. Yeah, yeah, that was that was one hell of a meeting, man. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And, you know, I, I thought there was only going to be like maybe 15, 20, you know, representatives show up. Right. And I'll tell you what, yeah, it was a lot of the ones I already knew, I was surprised they were there. Yeah. We'd already cross-trained with over half the people there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was really excited to... Uh, the Sandman was there. Oh yeah, it's a good yeah, man. I got right to there. talk to him a couple of times beforehand, and, and I was like, "Damn, man, you know, he, he's having all these FTXs and shit over in like Pennsylvania and uh, West Virginia and everything like that." Damn, I, I'll be damned if I can't make it there. You know, fucking the economy and gas and everything like that. You just go ahead and move it. All right. Uh, yeah, him coming over here and me finally getting to have at least you know ten fifteen minutes with him was pretty cool. <laughs> You can take that man's word to the bank, I'll tell you that right now. Yep, yes, sir. Yeah, he knows his shit. All right, brother, I'm on mute for a minute because apparently, uh, I don't know what it is with this phone, but we get a lot of background feed and we don't want to mess everybody up. Gotcha. You ain't gonna blaze this, brother. What that? Uh, I'm gonna ask him if he can confirm it, but right now it says breaking. We are receiving news of militia being militia members being detained at the Bunny Ranch. Being detained, like at this moment. Detained, uh, in, uh, says, I can receive a new militia of men detained at the money. It says the highest ranking law enforcer in every county of the United States, then, is your chef, no fair agency or director. That range your chef, if Ferris tries to override your chef, your chef overrides them and can arrest them. They are bound on their oaths. Uh, I don't know if that can be. I don't know if they're being contained for for a moment or. 
I'm asking, can you can you confirm it? Can you even phone numbers out? I just got another uh, correspondence here. It says, uh, for those of you headed this way, uh, Bolo for BN BLM and NHP, uh, they're pulling people over to search their cars for weapons. They're confiscating them and sending drivers on their way. It's confirmed. Sending by for more information. I think they scare you. That's why. Yeah. That is probably that is probably why they sitting there taking t taking weapons away. They seeing over two hundred some people going over there and camo and stuff with, with weapons. That they getting scared. Yep. Yeah. I'm at the. Uh, uh, let's see if he can confirm this. I'm trying to get a hold of Gary Buckhart right now. Spartans checking back in. We have a little bit of technical difficulties. Hey, Ralph. Welcome back. See if he can confirm this as well. Well, she can confirm. Excuse me. Hear that? Talking about Don? No. You want her? Uh, are you talking about Don or? Uh, I'm on Facebook and it says. 
expect to see. Uh, it says militia members of at Nevada Ranch. I want to see if she can confirm this. Hey, Mississippi, it's the Spartans in Louisville. Uh, we're having a hard time hearing you, brother. It was, sir? We're having a hard time hearing the gentleman in Mississippi. Oh, you in Mississippi? No, we're having a hard time hearing you. You're in Mississippi, right? Oh, uh, pardon. Uh, I have no intelligence of what's going on here. Okay, I was just saying when you're speaking, we're having a hard time hearing you. Just giving you a heads oh. up. Oh, okay. All hey. right. So if we don't answer and you say something, we just didn't catch you, brother. That's all. Oh, I appreciate it. No problem. It says, militia members alive. They arrived at Nevada Ranch. Yes, sir. I think it's supposed to be around 200 laying today, I thought. Uh, I'm going to see if she can confirm it. Okay. I'll get my information later this evening and in the morning. Hopefully we get a few more guys on here later, uh, men or women that are in Nevada, get a little more intel. Yeah, that'd be real nice, having people there on the ground actually on uh, on the phone here with us. I'm not able to get a hold of Jerry. I don't know. I don't know if he's just not online or if uh, comms have been cut or what. Who are you trying to get hold of? Jerry. Gary. Jerry from Oma. Oh, okay.